Declines in the global stock market from Europe's debt crisis and weak U.S. growth expectations have put breaks on deal making in the second half of the year. For more, we're joined by a senior M&A analyst here at Bloomberg, Ian Ayaduya. Ian, Morning. we saw a really heavy first half of the year and a slowdown in the second half. We have one month to go left in the year. What is M&A activity going to look like? Well, really, we're looking this year so far at about $2.1 trillion is where we stand right now. But the fourth quarter has been really interesting. In my view, I think we've entered sort of a deep freeze. All the, um, all the macroeconomic problems that we've been having are really manifesting themselves here in, in Q4. And so this quarter, we have about $260 billion worth of deals this quarter. You have to go all the way back to 2002 to see a, to see a Q4 that's this slow. Q4 is typically when all the deals come out. The bankers try to push their deals out to get their lead table credit. But it doesn't look like the macroeconomic climate is going to change. What is that going to mean first quarter next year? Well, first quarter, well, if you look forward next year, if you continue to have the kind of global market volatility that, they, that you have, then it's clearly going to be a slower year. We had a tale of two halves this year. Earlier this year in the first half, you really had all these deals coming to market. And in the second half of the year, you really had a drop off the cliff, particularly in this quarter. So if you continue to see the kind of situation that we have in the broader environment this quarter, I wouldn't be surprised for a much slower, much more steadier pace of deals going into next year. Well, beyond the numbers, what is the M&A story? Where is it industry focused? Well, the, in the industry focus is pretty interesting because you have a lot of deals where you have cash rich acquirers, mostly by pharmaceutical companies, uh, companies in the energy sector, companies in the telecom sector um, where you have highly rated acquirers that have a very good credit they're able to go out there and finance large deals but on the smaller end of the range you really have a large drop-off in terms of the volume of deals coming to market well we've got a month to go left in the year we'll see what happens that's Ian Adewuya Bloomberg senior M&A analyst